Hi everyone, and welcome back to 21 Days to Fred. Well, here we are in bed because we have a special episode lined up for you today. So many people recommended that we should watch the documentary, Won't You Be My Neighbor? That uh, today, turns out, it's a foggy day, a cool day here at the beach, a perfect day just to snuggle up here in bed and watch that film. And I keep saying we because I have a special guest to introduce. She's finally making her appearance from behind the camera to in front of the camera. I'd like to introduce everyone to my wife. Hello. What's your name? <laughs> Julie Keller. Julie Keller is with us. So terrific. Well, we've got the laptop all warmed up and ready to go. And so we're going to start this movie. Are you excited about seeing it? Very much so. I mean, so many people have talked about it so many great things about Fred Rogers and about who he was. Secrets to be revealed. We'll check back in with you. I can't believe what a broad area we covered. Edgar, Edgar, what, what, what do you think he means by in trouble? Fred didn't want you ad-libbing, putzing around with the Ed words, Man because he was always trying to get a message across in every show. I want there to be peace in this neighborhood. It's been a hard time for everyone. Oh, I really like your fancy chair. <laughs> That's just the Nice. This is like one of the saddest parts of the film. Yeah. But it was really important for kids to be able to hear from a child that wasn't like them instead of pointing and staring and being afraid they were able to learn what it is for somebody to be different and that's the most important thing for acceptance is to learn why people are different and know that they're okay just the way they are. It's a very moving film. Documentary should at minimum have been nominated for an Oscar, but I won't go into the politics of that. It was so important to be able to reconnect with that feeling of acceptance that at times seems missing in today's society. And it um, really, it took me back, and I think that was why it was so emotional for me, to thinking about there was a time in people's lives that that was just how you treated other people with respect and it really reminded me of my grandmother and she shared a lot of those very similar qualities to Fred and of course while we were watching this I couldn't help but remark between you and I at certain angles just how much you look like Fred Rogers. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. I know. I said at certain angles. Okay, we just finished Won't You Be My Neighbor. Very sad film, right? It's sad that it's... People don't treat each other with the respect that we had from times gone by. We forgot to introduce <laughs> the other... The other <laughs> one that was watching the film with us, a little chihuahua named Apple. And she, did you like it? Did you like the film? She's like, I'm a living version of Daniel Striped Tiger. <laughs> she loved watching the film and she gives it four paws up. Four paws up. <laughs> Thanks everybody for joining us for 21 Days to Fred.
Bye.